Nawala ako sa iyo. I... I was not able... <laughs> Ulit. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What's up mga kapitik? It's Jay here and welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, I am going to share to you my experience in taking an IELTS exam. But before that, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for subscribing and we've already reached a thousand subscribers! <laughs> so thank you guys for subscribing and believing in me and I hope I'll be able to create content that would help you better your life. Wow! better your life now. Anyways, for today's video, I am going to share to you my experience in taking the exam. And I'll give you some tips on how to face your IELTS exam. Well, kala mo naman talaga, ano eh, English speaker. No, I'm not fluent in English. I am just trying to be a fair user of English. I am not fluent like anybody else that you know who are native speaker in English, but I want to to share to you my experiences and how um, I how, how, um, how, um, how, um, how I was able to pass the IELTS exam which is the minimum requirement for the visa screen for those nurses who wanted to go to the United States for this video each Tagalog word or phrases that I am going to mention during the video so I am going to take a sip of this apple cider vinegar. I don't like the smell. Anyway, without further ado, let's start. What have I done to prepare for the exam? I started looking at the testing center around Manila. I've chosen this testing center near my workplace, which is in Ortigas. So better if you're prepared before you take the exam. Before booking, make sure it will give you time to prepare. For me, I booked it a month before the exam, but I wasn't able to prepare because of my busy schedule. I hope you won't do the same like what I did. So you should should be certain what type of exam you want to take like if it's paper based or computer based prior my schedule or prior this exam I have not taken an IELTS exam whether it's paper based or computer based so this was the first IELTS exam I've ever sat I've chosen computer based I don't know how they do it in paper based but I am certain what's going to happen if you're going to take computer-based. So these tips will be more on computer-based. Uh, the exam has four parts which are reading, listening, writing, and speaking. I booked this exam and finished the exam in a day. So I booked my reading and listening and writing in the morning and I had my speaking task in the afternoon. First tip is know your witnesses. So when we say witnesses, know whether you're weak in reading, weak in listening, weak in writing, and weak in speaking. So for me, I am weak in writing and basically listening. So during those four days preparation, I've watched YouTube videos to prepare me for the listening exam. I am not fluent in speaking, but I can handle a conversation which is good enough for you to ace your speaking tasks. There are numerous listening tutorial videos on YouTube, even practice exam videos on YouTube that you can use in preparation for the IELTS exam. So I'll put the link below what are those videos that I'm talking about and Maybe it can help you boost your confidence and maybe it will help you ace your exam. So I never had a formal training in writing, even listening, except those English subjects that we have in high school and in college. And we move on to the two parts that I want to focus on, the writing and speaking. Okay, so now let's move on to writing. Writing. So, writing has two parts or two tasks. Task one, you will be given graphs or you need to present the graphs in words or 
it could be an illustration or a map that you need to describe and put it in words. So do not use your own opinion on this because you are just going to present what is given to you. The formula that I've used for this task one, I need to create an introduction. So tell something about or what the graph is all about and give a significant findings about the illustration being presented. If it's a pie graph, you'll be given two graphs or pie graphs that you need to describe. All right. So my formula was introduction, body one, and body two. So for body one, I discussed the similarities of the two graphs or two objects being compared upon. And for body two, I discussed the comparison or the difference between the two. For your body two, you can compare or discuss the difference of the two tables or graphs being presented. So in these tasks, you need to have at least 150 words. In my experience, I did not use topic sentence nor um, establish a bullet points to build my paragraph because it will just consume my time. And what you need to have is to at least allocate at least 20 minutes to finish your first task. So the rest of the minutes, the time left would be given to your task too. So what you can do is to write down words that you can use to build up your vocabulary course. So make sure that it is in the right place. For example, moreover, furthermore, additionally, don't use the same words that you used in the first sentence or have a synonym word for that particular word. What I did also was to write down or jot down those words that I can use during the tasks. So you will be given a sheet of paper where you can write down notes and I used that paper given to us to write down words that I can use during the tasks. So that's particularly the task one. So my formula is introduction, body one, body two. Okay, let's proceed to task two. So in task two, you need to have at least 250 words essay, all right? So for this one, I use this outline to organize my essay. So first is the introduction. Second would be the paragraph one or the body one. Paragraph two or the body two and the conclusion so that's basically the formula that i used let's dissect each part so first for the introduction you build your general statement or general statement about the topic and you need to answer the question being asked on the introduction it is advisable to really answer the question so that your answer will be relevant to the question because it will be scored when the reviewer will review your answer. <laughs> oh my god, that's a Tagalog word. <laughs> First sip. Uh, so bad. So there you go. So for the introduction, build your general statement. Answer the question. You may agree or disagree to the given situation and give at least two points. These two points will be used in paragraph 1 and paragraph 2. So for paragraph 1, I use the formula PEEL. So that's P-E-E-E-L. So what's PEEL? For the P means point. For your first sentence on your first paragraph, you need to state your first point and then explain your point. After explaining your point, you need to cite an example. After giving an example, you need to give them the effects of your points. L is the linking sentence to your next paragraph. So same formula, Peel for the second paragraph. Ask you to do during the introduction, you need to give two points so that you can have the second paragraph. So in second paragraph, same formula, peel, and then the L on the second paragraph will be linking towards your conclusion. 
that's basically what I did and I hope it will help you build your essay. So this time you will be given to share your opinion about the topic. So let's proceed to the speaking. So I know I'm not fluent enough and I know I'm not good in grammar. I may have some errors. Just forgive me and I just want to, you know, to express or to explain and to help you for those who are like me that's not fluent in speaking English. Practice, practice, practice. So this vlog really helps me be more confident to speak so that in your IELTS exam, you'll be able to express yourself or express your answer. So for speaking, there's two tasks. Task one, I, uh, rather, <laughs> can I consider I as, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so for a speaking exam, you have three tasks. For task one, it's a common questions that are being asked with common topics like evening, like party, travel. During my exam, I was asked to describe the place where I'm living. Is it near the hospital? Basically, just to describe the place and I think it's about four to five minutes before we proceed to the task two. For all the tasks for the speaking exam is to give the answer right away and then explain your answer. After explaining your answer, give example. For task two, this is the time you are given a topic card. There's a question that you need to answer. For my experience, I was asked about my goal. What's this goal is all about? Why is it important to me and how I was able to uh, achieve that goal? I was caught off guard because I don't have a goal in life, but I pretty much created a story behind what I have achieved in life. To tell you honestly, I wasn't able to finish the task too. I wasn't able to answer all the required questions. You'll have a minute to prepare and take down notes. Please don't write your answers on the notes. Just pick words that you can remember and answer the question properly. You'll give in two minutes to speak and then your time is up. So all you need to do is to be honest or to tell a story honestly so that it will come out fluently or create a story if you're a storyteller. Or imagine a situation wherein you have to create a goal or to decide a goal or to establish a goal. For task 3, this is general questions related to task 2 topic. Same formula with task 1 which is answer the question, explain your answer, and then give example. I hope I was able to relay my experiences to you guys and I hope it will help you ace your speaking task in like what it did to me. <laughs> no. So ito yung score ko. Hindi ito mataas na score pero enough na para makapunta ng US. Tignan nyo naman, for 4 days I was able to get a band score of 7 overall and then for the speaking 7 well, that's very, very amazing. And I hope you'll be able to get that bad score that you need. That's the end of our video about IELTS exam. And I hope you've learned something today. So I can speak Tagalog na. Tapos na kasi, di ba? So I hope guys, may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Comment below if you have ideas for my next videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell para updated kayo sa next video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next video. Bye-bye!